Hello students, good morning. Uh, we are going to study ecology in this lecture. Lecture number three, we will study population ecology and growth of individuals in a populations and uh, their different stages and type of growth and growth models in an ecosystem. Population ecology, what is a population? Population is a group of individuals of the same species that occupy a given geographical area at the same time and share a unique set of genes through several generations. Growth models and growth. Growth is a normal process of increase in the size of an organism as a result of increased tissues similar to that originally present in the body of organisms. In growth there are uh, several events for example cell division and uh, increase in the number of cell after cell division and increase in the volume of cells after cell division and increase uh, in the volume of the cells uh, after increase in the volume maturation of uh, all cells take place and they become permanent part of the tissue and uh, in this uh, regard we can take an example of the plant growth at the apex apical growth at the root tips and apex of the shoot where there are different zones zone of cell division, zone uh, in the number of cell, zone in the increase in the volume of the cells, zone of maturation and in this way there is a very uh, beautiful example of growth in plant. As animal populations change over time as a result of birth, death and dispersal. In this case, a survivorship curve is a graph showing the number or proportion of animals uh, or individual of a population surviving to each age for a given species or group of animals. This survivorship curve is also called a life history curve which can be drawn for a given group of organisms with shared traits based on a life table. Uh, slide number 9 you can see uh, the survivorship curve uh, three types of survivorship type uh, 1 and type 2 and type 3 uh, survivorship curve. Now two type of growths uh, or two type of growth models. First exponential growth model or exponential type of growth is seen in a population where resources are unlimited. This condition is not found in nature but occurs in lab. Condition where we provide nutrients unlimitedly to the growing animals. Uh, for example growth of bacteria in culture medium in laboratory, uh, in virology or uh, molecular biology lab. Uh, in this case organisms reproductive potential is at its maximum level. That is why Darwin's natural selection works here and uh, due to this uh, natural selection uh, survival of the fittest is the final result in this growth of population and population growth. Uh, we get a J-shaped graph or curve with increasing slope against the number of organisms on y-axis and time on x-axis. Increase or decrease in population size can be seen in this case, slide number 6. Biotic potential or intrinsic rate of growth is the capacity of a population to increase at maximum level denoted by 
small r and is defined as the rate of population increase under optimal conditions in environment. Well, here uh, two graphs are shown uh, regarding exponential growth and logistic growth. In exponential growth, we see a J-shaped curve is obtained and uh, in logistic growth, uh, s shape or sigmoid shape curve or graph is obtained and uh, to explain in the next slide uh, we see how this uh, growth occur well in logistic population growth we see that in the second type of growth model of population uh, uh, there is a common factor uh, about this growth in nature where resources are limited. In this way there is a check and balance in nature regarding growth of organism in a supporting ecosystem with its carrying capacity. Here slide number 6 uh, you see. In this logistic growth model uh, of S shape curve or sigmoid curve we see that following vertical parts or stages can be seen in the growing individuals. Uh, there is a lag period with slow increase in growth. There is a log period, growth is moderate and desolation period, a third and then a symptot or a steady state growth phase in the population.